Hi friends, welcome back to Eco, the skill provider. In this short video lesson, I am going to tell you 5 expressions that are very vital for your spoken English. If you want to really improve your communication skill, you are supposed to learn a lot of expressions. So today, in this short video lesson, I am going to share 5 expressions that you can use almost every day. The first expression is called tied off. So what do you mean by tied off? Whenever I say tied off, it means you are busy with doing something that you can stop off. Suppose I am teaching right now. If somebody calls me off and telling that I need to talk to him or her, I can say, I am sorry, I am tied off. I will call you up sometime. The same thing can happen in different situations also. Suppose you know you are driving or you are busy in, in programming or you are doing something very important you can stop it because this job is very vital for you so in the meantime if somebody is trying to you know take your help or you're trying to have a, a conversation you can say sorry i'm i'm tired of right now i'll call you back after some time like that you can say so tired of is the first expression you are supposed to use you know day to day life the second one is called goof around what do you mean by goof around Go for on it's something called that you spend your time doing uh, something that is not very important. Sometimes we are simply, you know, uh, doing something that is not very important for us. Uh, whenever you are an off day, suppose you are an office square or you are an employee of an organization, you know, off days, what exactly you do? You don't do anything very important unless until it is important for you. Whatever other things like, you know, sometimes you mingle with your friends, sometimes you go uh, for gardening and all such things. So that is something called, that's not very important. So uh, just like, you know, in a different way, you can say it is just like, you know, uh, idling away. You are, some things called, you know, you are not doing anything very important. So uh, like, you know, you can tell uh, your kid like that there is an exam for you tomorrow. Why you are goofing around? So goofing around means you are trying to say whatever you are doing right now, that's not important for you. You are supposed to focus on your study. And the third one is called a bad connection. Look, a mobile phone becomes an indispensable item for everybody. Whether you are a businessman, you are a lawyer, you are a doctor, or you are anybody, it doesn't matter mobile phone is very essential because everybody is connected with everybody by mobile phone so sometimes what happens you might have experienced the same things in your life whenever you are trying to give a call sometimes the voice is not clear okay so you keep on telling hello 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 because you are not able to listen or you can hear that voice properly it's not clear so that particular time you can say, oh, I'm sorry, I can't hear you properly. Perhaps I have a bad connection. So bad connection means it's related to network. So in uh, instead of telling I have a network issue and uh, other technical issue, you can use a simple expression. I'm sorry, I can't hear you properly. I have a bad connection. And the fourth one is called gone for the day. Okay. Suppose you are an office square and around four o'clock, you are supposed to leave the office. If I'm reaching the office around 5, 4.30, I'm trying to search for you. Obviously, your colleague will tell the Mr. XYZ has gone for the day. That means there is no chance of that guy coming to the office again. That means you have almost logged out. There is no question of unless until that is highly required for you to come back to the office. There is no question then again you will be back again. So that is something called gone for the day and last is called get sidetracked sometimes what happens suppose i'm supposed to give a call that's a very important or you can say it's a very important business call so in the in the meantime one of my colleagues calls me and we are trying to have a conversation in the meantime i really forgot to call you so after 10 or 15 minutes then i'm supposed to give a call and tell i'm sorry i got sidetracked that means I got distracted 
uh, from doing something very important. I'm supposed to give a call, but I could not give that call because I was busy some other work, okay, which is not important, but sometimes it happens, okay. So these are the five different expressions that you can use, you know, day to day life to speak English confidently and something called with that much of ferocity. If you really want to improve your communication skill, we have live class going on almost every day. So if you're really interested that spoken English should not be a stumbling block in your career, please join with us. Thank you for watching the video. Please do share for benefit of others also. Thank you.